Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay. I'm an IT manager for a TV station, and sometimes that means I'm asked to send video from point A to point B. So when I saw Aaron Parecki and Photo Joseph do a live stream using one of these, an ATEM streaming bridge, I had to get one. And then I ran into the problem that you're probably having, which is how do you send video to a streaming bridge without an ATEM switcher? It is actually possible. Let me show you how. I am using the desktop build of Ubuntu 2004. I chose to do this on Linux because compiling OBS and Windows was a little bit more complicated than I would have liked, and Linux just made this a lot easier. If you would like a video on how to install Ubuntu, please leave a comment below. But first, I'm actually going to SSH into the machine so I can copy and paste the code that's in the description below. Again, if you'd like a video on how to do this, please leave me a comment. To get started, I'm going to use the Debian-based build instructions that are provided on GitHub from the OBS project. I'm going to copy this first set of commands, which will copy all the prerequisites. Copy, paste, hit enter, enter your super secret password, and let it run. Now this didn't take that long on my machine because they're already installed. This will take longer if this is a brand new build. Next, you can choose to build with the browser source or without. We're going to copy everything up until the CD command. Again, the time will vary depending upon your machine. Now the instructions say to change the directory into the OBS studio and build it. However, we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to CD into OBS studio. We're going to list the contents to see what's inside. Now we're going to change directory into the plugins folder, if I can spell, and then go to OBS outputs. Now we're going to need to edit a file. We're going to use sudo and we're going to nano flv mux.c. Wow, I can't type today. Scroll down until you find the variable video codec ID. We're going to delete that line. What this line does is set the video codec to be number 10. The Black Magic Streaming Bridge requires it to be set to AVC1. So copy and paste the line from below. Now we're going to find the audio codec ID and replace it with a line that says MP4A. Scroll down until you find the encoder line. This is the biggest difference between the Blackmagic Streaming Bridge and OBS. OBS uses a combination of the OBS output module and the library version to create a metadata tag called OBS Output Module Lil Bob's Version 26. This needs to be set to Blackmagic Design AVC Encoder. So again, delete the previous line that said encoder and copy and paste my line from the description below that says Blackmagic Design AVC Encoder. Now that we replace those three lines, we can exit out by hitting Control X and save the buffer, confirm, and get out. Now we're going to go back to folders, and we're going to follow along with the instructions provided, which is 
make directory build, change into that directory, and install. How long this takes will depend on the machine that you are using. Don't forget to hit enter. Now that the build is done, I'm going to open up my VNC session into my computer. Open up the programs list and type OBS. And voila! So for testing purposes, I'm going to open up a media source. Click on my home setup tour video, which if you haven't watched it, please do. I'm going to go to settings, stream, and choose custom. In this case, the server address is empty. Let me open up the ATEM Streaming Bridge setup software. And we're going to look copy that IP address. And please note the test key. We're going to RTMP the address. It's port 1935 slash app. The streaming key was test. We're going to go to output. And make sure you go to advanced and make sure you choose profile main if you don't choose the profile main it will not work here I'm doing a bitrate of 4000 but you can choose your bitrate depending on what you want to do hit OK and start streaming well it looks like it's working let's check the streaming bridge software it says it's on the air let's go look at the TV and see what it looks like here you can see the streaming bridge is plugged in via an HDMI cable to my Sony TV and is playing back the audio and video perfectly fine. Well, I really hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you for watching.